What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to be breaking down uh, an offensive play uh, that you can add into the shotgun spread offense that we've given you uh, from Arizona's playbook. And that play is going to be the San Diego Post Trail. Um, this is going to be used as a, a mix-up play, kind of. Uh, what it does really well is it does a very good job of... Uh, kind of flowing together with all the other plays that we use from the spread. So you might want to check out our offensive scheme uh, that we gave out a couple weeks back on this spread. Uh, once again, I want to apologize for being out of the out of the YouTube community for so long. I've just been uh, really busy, had the end of school, and uh, kind of trying to figure out what's next for the YouTube channel. And more on that in a couple videos later to come. But uh, uh, definitely starting to get a sense of direction about what we're going to be doing here. And uh, but I do want to kind of preface it with this money play to kind of wrap up together this uh, Arizona spread offense, and then um, we're going to get into more detail with uh, some stuff later on in the week. But uh, for today's purpose, uh, we're going to be going over the San Diego Post Trail. Now, the first adjustment we want to make on this play is we want to hot route. Um, our receiver over here, Boros, we want to just smart route him. And this is a play you only want to call on first and 10 if you're going to use that smart route. Um, so you want to smart route Boros so that he goes about 10 yards. And this is going to be a very good curl route. Uh, it's going to be an unbumpable hitch route. The next thing we want to do is we want to take uh, Durham here. We want to put him on a, uh, a zig route or a flat route, depending on your preference. I like the zig because it gives me potential to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to take Burleson here and we want to put his route um, on an in route, just a little in route. Uh, we want to smart route Calvin Johnson if it's a first and ten situation. And then we're going to take Reggie Bush and we can put him on a streak. We can put him on an uh, option route depending on your preference. Uh, for the purpose of this scheme, uh, I really like to put him on uh, a streak just because it gets into a little bit more of a, a better area of the field. And you're going to motion in Broyles in two steps and then snap. Now your first read is going to be that hitch route to Broyles. Once you see two high safeties and a two-man under look, uh, that's going to be your money route. That's going to be what you're hitting uh, all day long. Okay. Now your second read is going to be, of course, your little uh, zig route, which is really good if, against off-man coverage. If they play press-man coverage, one little quick tip here, if, they play, if, the, if you see the corners pressing up in the slots... Um, this is really good because what the zig does, you're going to get that beat press for emanation. You can quick pass it to the inside there. Uh, like, see, that's why you want to put a receiver over there that has a uh, decent beat press in that third slot. All right, and then the next read is going to be Burleson coming across on his little in route, uh, pass lead down into the inside. Uh, real quick note on the pass lead, which is more to come on the passing trajectories later. I'm going to have a tutorial coming out soon. Uh, but when you pass lead, you have to hold the left directional stick uh, in the area you want it to go after you've hit the button, after you're holding down the button to throw to the receiver. Uh, that's something I found out last night when I was working on this. Um, and then your fourth read on this play, and, and this is why you can go, um, sometimes we go with the option route, sometimes we go with whatever. Uh, but I like the option route just because it beats man, but I also like the streak too. Uh, so it's just kind of on your personal preference. Um, so, but for the purpose of this video, uh, I would say option route over the streak just because it does a better job at beating the man-to-man -man coverage, okay? But uh, you see that option route does a really good job at beating man. And then the third or the last read, the fifth and final read here, um, is this route to Johnson. Uh, Calvin Johnson on the outside here. Pass lead down in the inside. you got to click on and you got to go make a user catch uh, against man coverage. Typically, you won't have to get to those reads, though, because you uh, will have been going to uh, you know your, your left side to beat man coverage, especially that two-man under. Okay. Now, what about against like a cover, like cover two or something like that? So, say they run cover two sink, um, and that's really what we love this play for, because um, when you're running the spread, you're going to see a lot of cover two sink. Uh, from my experience, cover three is going to get toasted with those curl flat reads, uh, but the cover two is a little bit more popular. And so, what we want to do here, when you see that cover two, is you see that post gets in a very tender area, and that's kind of your main read. Um, some other things that are open against the cover two, just going to quickly cycle through here. Uh, just for the purpose of time. Um, but again, some other things that are open against the cover two is that zig, once again, when it cuts to the inside uh, for a little quick pass. A um, couple other things that we can see here against the cover two sink is the option and the in route. All those routes will be open. See the in route's open quick. 
uh, when you come to underneath there, underneath the middle linebacker. Um, let's see what else we've got here. I think this option route will be open too because it's going to sit. No, it's not. The option route's what's what's kind of the key here, and that's why we like the option route a little bit. I uh, also like the streak, but just just overall, I find the option route to be just a little bit more effective uh, just because it does a better job at what we just saw right there. Now, if you watch here, you'll see that corner is going to sit, or that, that slot corner is going to hold just because all he's got to hold on that option route. And that's the key because it's going to open up that window to throw the uh, other route in here. So watch this corner. You see he's going to hold here, and then that's going to open up. Uh, that's going to open the window for Calvin to come underneath it. And it's basically like a fin or inverted levels concept made out of the running back. So it's pretty effective. Um, and then one other thing I want to note here is, um, for example, what if they run like a cover four defense? Um, against the cover four, uh, obviously one thing that's really good is those little quick zigs. They're going to sit in those little uh, holes in the zones, which is really why I like them over the flat zones. Uh, and they say they, they really work the same way as the flats. So let me show you an example of that. So the flats are served to hold down the cover three flat zones. Well, you'll see here, he's going to get pressed. It's going to still leave that void open for Broyles to get a catch over there. So you see they still serve the same purpose, but they're a little bit more effective in the long run. Okay. And then uh, let's take a look at some other reads here against cover four. Um, I don't think that the curl route is open. I haven't really ever really tried to throw it. You see, it's really not there. This the, the purple zone or the curl to flat zone uh, out of the cover four does a very good job of getting out there on that route. But what is uh, pretty open, if we, if we watch here, I think that this route to Johnson is going to be wide open. You see how it comes underneath. Now you do need a receiver with good catch of traffic because uh, I have been hit a lot. And that's kind of when you want to force stuff. If you want to force stuff against cover four, uh, like we did there, you're going to need that receiver with good catch of traffic. But another thing that's open against cover four is that easy little in route, very effective, uh, just quick. But uh, the, the cover four, you're going to mainly be hitting that zig in the option route to the running back. And then real lastly here, I want to show you uh, cover three. We all know that against the cover three zone, uh, the curl route on the outside is where we're going to want to hit. And that's kind of the first read. Um, what if they put like some adjustments out there? Um, you know, if they put a purple, you're going to hit the zig, um, as, we saw, as we showed from the cover four. Uh, but we'll go ahead and cycle through the rest of the reads here. And so if that's not open, you see that that, that route to Johnson is going to be wide open as well in the cover three uh, because those two underneath routes are going to hold down uh, those zones. And so that's why it's effective. Um, and then real quickly here, just want to show you one little nugget against a cover two. Just standard cover two, not cover two sink. And against standard cover two, you see you're still going to have that post route. And it's a very effective route uh, against zone coverage. Now what's going to happen is your opponent... We'll start user controlling them. Maybe say the, maybe they'll start user controlling. Let's go into a zone here, but they'll start user controlling. Like for example, this middle linebacker Wagner, and so we'll just mimic that by just manning him up on Calvin. So they're gonna have to stop. They're really trying to stop this uh, user catch route over the middle at that post. Well, what do we have now? We have that little baby in route. We have all these other options, and that's why it's important to go through your progressions in your offense. Okay, so that mixed in with the screen, mixed in with the wide receiver shallow, curl flats, all of that, and even the halfback draw. One note on the halfback draw, I like to motion this guy over here. It gets a little bit better blocking, just in my experience, as you see here. Uh, most halfback draws aren't very effective, but for some reason, uh, i just been motioning this guy over, which works because it's with all the other motions that I have. But you see, it, it does just a little bit better job. You don't get blown up as much in the backfield. Alright guys, thank you for watching today. I hope you guys are ready to get back into Madden. I, for one, have been playing a lot of Madden lately. been really excited to kind of get in the lab and kind of really get an intense study done on how the game works and, and kind of get some more uh, good content for you guys. So i got a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, we've got an A-gap pressure blitz coming soon. Uh, i got some other blitzes. But uh, we're going to talk a little bit about defensive uh, philosophy. And uh, we're going to be building a defense soon. Uh, but next week, we're going to be starting our summer schedule. So I'll have that updated this weekend. So stay tuned to the channel. got a lot of stuff coming. And uh, thank you for your support. And we'll see you guys later.